Hi everyone. Well, I'm here with you because I have a project share. I love how my project came out. I just love it so much. And I did have a cigar box that my hubby had picked up at a garage sale um, last summer. So this was perfect. And it's an original cigar box from Dominican Republic. So I just had to throw it out there. I don't know why. But anyways, um, the paper that I used um, from Tilda is the Happiness is Homemade. And there is a print here that I just love. And, um, and it's actually this design right here. So that's the design that I used on the top and on the sides and on the inside as well. Opposed, but in the inside it has more of a green tone and on the top has more of a pink and beige tone. So I just I just have to use this paper. When I saw it, I'm like, okay, I need to use it. So let me go ahead and share with you what I made. I just love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, Ta-da! It is so beautiful. I, I just love it. I love it. I love it. And I have to really love something and not want to give it away in order for me to give it away. <laughs> it's weird, right? But I really love how this box came out. And it is an original cigar box. I did put my um, information on the back. And I used a Tilda uh, cutout. And I just stamped handmade by. So, oh my gosh. I, I didn't cover the bottom only because I wanted her to see that it's an actual cigar box. Not one of those purchased from Michaels. So, okay, so I covered all of the paper. I covered the whole box. I did not paint it. I did not just sew it. I wanted it in natural tone. It's natural color. So all I did is I cover the top with the paper. Here's that beautiful paper print. And I also covered all the way around the sides. But um, I did cover it with paper, but I also covered it with trim. So um, you can still see the, the print of the paper if you look closely you know through the trim because the laces that I use it's um, it's transparent and then I put feet on it and the feet is actually from Tim Holtz and what I did is I painted it uh, uh, like a beige color um, I gave it a couple of coats of the beige color then I used my silver tone rub and buff and then with my finger and then again with my finger I went over it with the beige so it just flows so beautiful with the box I gave it feet I just love it so all right so let me go ahead before I explain to the about the front but here's it's the same all the way around I use this beautiful lace that looks like this from Hobby Lobby there's the box like that so it's pretty wide so I used it twice I used it on the bottom and then I used it on the top and then this trim right here it's a pink dangle trim I love it purchased it from the lace mama on eBay and then on top I used tiny small flat back pearl trims and there it's white so I, it's really small and I put it all the way around just to finish it up and then again I layered it with that hobby trim Hobby Lobby trim that's a little bit stretchy and then I folded it over um, on the top so you can see a little sneak peek of it right here so that's how it looks all the way around the box and then I covered it with um, this beautiful pink trim that I have purchased and I just wrapped it all the way around I just added pearls because I just I think pearls is so feminine and so shabby and of course I had to add some of my touches of bling as well so here in the top I just did a lot of layering so I went ahead and um, I added this beautiful pearl and uh, rhinestone trim my favorite kind of trim to use I just love this trim so I just put that all the way around the box. Then um, I found this doily, and this doily was actually given to me by uh, Muriel, Miss Cooper Scoop. Hi, Muriel, thank you. And I just love it. It's a nice size doily. So I didn't want to cover the whole paper. I wanted the paper to show, but also I wanted it more, you know, to have more 
I don't know how to explain that. I just wanted, I just wanted it to look beautiful. So um, I went ahead and I added the dolly there. And then here's some little butterflies. These are little Venice butterflies also that I picked up from the Lace Mama on eBay. I added some bling in the center, so that's real bling. Here's another butterfly as well, right here. And then here's some more bling. Then this is a pink uh, frame, picture frame that I picked up at Michael's. I had it in my stash. What I did is I took off the little clip that goes on the back to, to keep the frame standing. This thing right here, I just took it off. And um, I printed this picture. And this picture is also from Va. Hi, Va. And um, I just love it. She did a free digi and it added little roses and little butterflies. And that's why I added a lot of flowers and butterflies. And then here says dream. And I just love that. So I resized it to fit this picture frame right here. Then um, I added lace. This is cream lace all the way around the frame. Then I felt like I needed some pearls right here. So I added some pearls on the frame. And then this beautiful bling piece. Rhinestone and pearl piece that I picked up from Treasures Deluxe on Etsy. And then um, here's the other butterfly with some bling right there. And then although it says dream here, I added a word bead that says forever right here. I just love how that came out. Then um, here are a few handmade flowers that I made. I just love making this. And um, then what I did is I added pearls, uh, darker pink pearls with a little bling piece in the center on both pink ones. And then on this beige one, I added a rhinestone ring and then a, a big pearl that you could find at Michael's. And I just stuffed little fillers right here. I have little fillers there. I have a little rhinestone piece here with a pearl. So this is a cream color cluster right here. If you could, let me see if you could see it better. A cream right there. And then here's that bling piece right there. And then here is this little clay little blue flowers to pick up the blue that's right over here. So I added another clay piece here and another clay piece there. So there's three pieces right there. And then here is a pink one right there and then another cream color cluster right there. And then here is another flower, different type of flower. I added a little bling piece right here, right there. And then this um, little heart shaped sequence spray. Um, I don't think she has any more, but I use these sparingly because I just love it so much. And um, then here is another flower, beige flower, and then I have some tulips and little um, beaded sprays over here that was gifted to me by Malika. Hi Malika! Um, and then also here's another spray with little pink flowers and pearls so I just love it it is so beautiful I think I covered everything that I put into this box on the top yes I did I just love how it came out so the inside we were to put handmade um, embellishments so to open it up you just flip this little lace up this way Just flip it up so it does when you close the box it doesn't um, cover it so and then just open it up like that and then here are some um, handmade stuff which I've already shared videos on and this packaging right here oh gosh I love it what I did is I have a scanner slash printer fax machine all-in-one type of um, copy machine and a copy machine so it's all in one uh, for my house and this little packaging from Michaels what I did is I scanned it saved it to my computer and when it's saved there's a eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and then you see this right on, on the top corner so I cropped it so I went to pickmonkey.com P-I-C monkey.com and I just cropped it to the size of this image right here and uh, saved it to my computer and then I went to my live because I have a Microsoft computer to my live um, photo gallery and I printed four in one sheet four of these in one eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper 
and cardstock actually and I got this these big ones and these are three and a half by five they measure three and a half by five and I was I just love the packaging it just looks so beautiful I love it so that's where I got this from from this so I'm addicted to Autrin and I'm addicted to Pick Monkey. So here are the embellishments that I've shared with you previously. I will add the links to all these videos of these embellishments because um, I do have a lot of new subscribers. So um, I will share the links of all of everything that I've made. So you've you've all you know the ones that followed me for a while have seen these already. So yeah, these are all the little embellishments I added. Oh, and it smells so nice in here because it was smelling like Mod Podge. So what I did is I added one of those um, dryer sheets inside and it just smells so nice. So here's the other set of paper that I used. So I just covered this, and then the reverse of this paper is right here. Let me go ahead and see if I could grab this. Uh, let me see. Right there. It's a smaller print of flower right there. So I did that all the way around on the bottom and on the top. So yeah. I had so much fun creating all these goodies for her. I had a lot, a lot of fun. So, alright everyone, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye.